Afrojack, congratulations, man. Thank you very much. You're on the stem now. That's an incredible feat, man. Yes, it's awesome. Where does it end, man? Uh, I don't know, man. Like, the sky's the limit, I always say. And then I got the offer to uh, actually go beyond the sky, but that's a different subject that we're going to come across later this year. And I don't know. I'm just. You got to elaborate on that a little now. No, no, not yet, not yet. Your own airliner? I I can tell you right now, like, the most cool thing about life and what I always try to share with my fans and my people around the world is that you never know what's going to happen next. You never know. Even sometimes you think you know exactly what's going to happen and then boom. And that's also something we're probably going to elaborate over later this week. <laughs> Will your face be on coins and money here in Holland as well? Well, I, I really like at one point, like the most awesome thing in the world would be if I can get my own street name. That's like, but as, as I said, like, I don't know any limits, but I hope when I'm like 60 or 70, I can get the Nick Van de Wall Street. That would be like <laughs> sick. Be like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I'm laughing now, but it will probably happen, right? I mean, they have a Golden Earring Street in, in, in Almere. Or... I honestly, you know, I don't care. I'm happy. My family is happy. I'm taking care of my people. My fans are happy. That's what it's about for me. And we're all mega proud of what you achieved because it's no small feat coming from a small town and conquering the world, man. Yeah, and that's what I always try to show people. Like, if you just follow your heart, you will become happy. Like, it's not like the stamp makes me happy. It's the fact that my music comes across to the people that makes me happy. I'm just as happy now as was seven years ago when I was DJing in a club here for like 50 people. And no one was listening. But the fact that I got to do my thing and I could say I'm a DJ, I'm a music producer, that's what still makes me happy today. What was your big breakthrough actually coming from playing here in SK? I think my fans made it. Like my fans made me who I am today, so it's cool. Speaking about fans, you're all, everybody's pulling you of course. Speaking about, yeah, it is very hot, man. Hey, I'm sweating, sweating myself the pleuris. And you definitely, so am I. Hey, um, t- could you take out a card? And could you please send it to one of your biggest fans or your mom or Obama or anyone you like and we'll, we'll get the stamp and we'll take care of the delivery. Okay. Who are you going to send it to? I don't know. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Who are you? Ah, Chanel. You take care of the delivery. I'll take care of the delivery. Man. Hey, thanks so much, man. Uh, real Thank proud you of you. Much. And you playing at the Ziggo Dome? I'm so- doing, yeah, I'm doing a little show Friday. It's like 12,000 people. Can we come? You can, yes, please. That's going to be awesome. So now uh, Afro Jack came to the window and he picked out you to yeah, get yes. his first card. Yes. Uh, I'm so uh, happy. <laughs> <laughs> you excited? Yes. Well, your name is Chanel, right? Yes. There you go. Thank you. Aren't you so shaking? <laughs> <laughs>